Hi everyone, Scorp continuing the Capsule Monster Coliseum Libra mod Thunder playthrough. Um, just gonna skip through this cutscene real quick. Um, I probably should have put the shopping on the end of the last episode, since Pegasus episodes tend to be very long. Um, and that was a relatively short ep episode, um, messing up um, Bakura. So... Today we're uh, going to go after Pegasus 2 um, in the Libra mod um, against Thunder. He likes to play um, what would light, you like to do? or it's either a light or a dark symbol. Um, or sorry, yeah, he either likes a light or an earth symbol, and he's not—he's <clears throat> pretty strong because he's got uh, a lot of power thanks to the field. So, do be prepared for that. Um, there isn't much here for darks at this point, um, but there's quite a bit here for thunders. Um, these are relatively decent. Um, I don't really like them for this stage in the game, um, but they're pretty decent. Um, this is fusion fodder. Um, I hate leveling this thing on wind or fire to make the fusion, so don't really like this piece, and the thing it fuses into isn't good. It's not terrible from a stats perspective for Thunder, but it's, it's really not good. Um, the best thing here is Royal Guard. Royal Guard is incredible. Um, Royal Guard is literally just a better version of Steel Ogre Grotto, number two. Um, <clears throat> everything about this piece, um, except for health. Except this has higher defense, so the health doesn't matter. And this thing has less range, so don't use it. Um, and then Dice Armadillo, um, you know, I already have a piece called, um, oops, I did not mean what to do that. What would you like to do? I'll fix that real quick. Um, I already have a piece, um, that does the exact same thing that the Dice Armadillo does, except what does it better. Like to do? So... I'm not really gonna use that. <laughs> um, and that piece is Tripwire Beast, if anyone's wondering. Let's get some of the garbage out of here. Um, let's go ahead and throw this in. Uh, this does have decent plus AP, so I'll just have it in just, just to have it, but <clears throat> I do not intend to use it. Um, I'll throw the slot machine in, even though I also don't intend to use it. Um, I'm going to keep sewage in around, um, because I'm going to fuse, uh, for Gate Guardian. Same with Kazogen. It's a shame it takes so long to get them. Um, but now with that done, I'm going to go uh, deal with Pegasus. Um, Pegasus is relatively um, strong. He's really good on his field uh, with this setup, so... Um, and he is an Earth symbol, so he's about as strong as he can be. Um, this is probably the strongest Pegasus can be. Um, conveniently, though, we do have enough damage to actually deal with some of his pieces uh, because we have Thunders um, and the Thunder symbol. So his light should go down pretty quick. Uh, the only main issue, though, is that his uh, Earths are a major issue.
Um, we're both going to have our preferred side, so that'll be convenient uh, for both of us. Um, I probably will just use Exodia. Um, I do want to bring Kaminari attack. Um, I'm going to need the huge attack values of that and um, a couple other pieces to get down those... Um, get down these uh, lights pretty quickly. Um, a silver hero is the, what I'm going to put on the other diagonal from it. Um, that gives me two thunders. Um, I want at least a third, um, if not a fourth. So I'll take Cybersaurus. Um, Royal Guard would be a great choice, uh, although it gets so much stronger when you level it. Uh, and then for some darks, uh, Red Eyes Black Metal, um, really strong. Uh, I'm thinking about Magician of Black Chaos or maybe Trihorn. Trihorn's really good. Um, Magician of Black Chaos does really well on this field, as long as you have it on the right diagonal. Um, and then for a last piece. Um, he has gazelles, right? Yeah. I'm gonna bring a Dark Magician Girl for those. Or to at least help with those. Uh, I guess I'll put my Exodia on the um, same diagonal as those. Uh, I'd like to put a Silo Hero on the opposite diagonal, which is Dark. I will also put this on Dark. Uh, before I forget, I will put Exodia on this one. Here. Um, I have definitely brought a ton of AP worth of creatures. So it may be hard to actually utilize all of these every turn. Trying to come up with a good plan for plus AP here. Um, the best is this. Um, this would be a great time to move my symbol. I just don't remember if dark is better or thunder is better. So I'll do it next turn. I will definitely enjoy a New Game Plus when the AP cap is moved up to like 2,000 or something. Um, but that will definitely change what the best things are. Because then you can play like five perfectly ultimate great moths and not really worry too much about how much AP it costs. So those become significantly better pieces. Same with Summon Lord Exodia. Um... Here, let me... Plus 17. Minus 9, minus 2. Um, so that's just... Dark is just better. For um, darks. Um, yeah, dark will be just straight up better.
Oh yeah, Exodia costs a ton. But hey, I maxed out my plus AP. The main thing that I really cared about. Um, my, uh, thunders are gonna have to be pretty active at the beginning. Um, he's going to charge quite quickly with, uh, his... His lights. one shot. No. I'm also on the light side, aren't I? I am. So I can't do anything to affect that. Um, I did want to move this up here. Uh, I don't know if I actually want to do that, though. Yeah, it's fine. His gazelles are a problem, so... Panther Warrior is also obnoxious. Um, the scary part about um, Pegasus is he just charges, um, the way he charges in is just really hard to deal with. I'm gonna see if I can actually kill this without way too much pain. Um, his ill witch is going to attack this. <coughs> And there's not anything I can really do about that. Uh, but I should be able to kill this. The piece that's over here that's just in my way. 
Um, he can go all the way to here with his gazelle and attack this. Um, nothing I can really do to stop that. Um, oh, I can just attack this from here. This can do nothing. Um, that can't do anything. This is going to come here and attack this. Um, this is going to go here and attack here. So I don't know. I think I'll, I think I'm fine. Earth, huh? <sighs> Damage is so insane. Okay, let's, um, if I move over here, um, he can't attack me back because I'm just behind this pylon. Oh, I can do this. I'm going to be short on AP for all of this. I'm going to end up losing, I think, my Magician of Black Chaos just because I don't have enough AP to kill everything. <clears throat> Which is really a shame. But I think he's down to just Earths, right? That Magician of Black Chaos is going to use it special, I think.
I wish this pylon went in the way so my Exodia could kill the gazelle and save the piece's life. But unfortunately, it can't. Um, this is by far more than <clears throat> I would expect my Magician of Black Chaos to tank, so. I mean, it took four hits from an element that's weak to it. It almost survived that, too. Um, if I had had two AP last turn to um, put my symbol on dark, it would have lived through all of that. Oh, hey. Just charging me is a great, um, great strategy. Well, overall, this went pretty well, so I'm I'm happy with this. <clears throat> um, I'm sure there's a point you could throw in the symbol move earlier in the game, um, if you wanted to um, do this perfectly, and your magician of black chaos would live with like I don't know five health. <laughs> but anyways, it went pretty well. Um, I don't need Aki Beam because I'm not fusing, um, Carrot Idol's incredible, although, um, it getting wrecked by the symbols not great. Um, Panther Warrior's hard to obtain, uh, Performance of Swords in the shop, so I will take, <clears throat> I'll just take the Air Knight. None of this matters. So, uh, thanks everybody for watching and have a nice day.